going to demonstrate the technique for a sphenopalatine block. This does not require any special visualization equipment other than an otoscope and a 3cc syringe with an angiocath. The, angi the syringe is filled with 2% plain lidocaine. Um, we have uh, decongested her nose with Afrin and uh, now I, and I have already anesthetized the left side of the nose um, and I'm going to just demonstrate the placement of the catheter. I use the, nas the um, otoscope to visualize the nasal valve on this side and she's turned away so that when I put the, and I'm going to insert the catheter up into the nasal valve gently high into the nose. You can see how high this goes, and there's no discomfort there. And then when I uh, put the one and a half cc's of 2% lidocaine in, it will run over the medial surface of the middle turbinate, down the sphenoid face, and over the sphenopalatine ganglion. This will cause numbness, a flushing in the cheek, and she'll also uh, have a numbness in the throat. So I'm going to now, the left side was previously blocked, and I'm going to turn her this way to block the right side. So she's turned to the right side to get the medication to run down properly. So I can see the nasal valve. I'm inserting the angiocath high in the nose, slowly, and now I am going to simply slowly drip the 2% lidocaine down this uh, the lateral nasal wall. This is the idea is not to go through the middle meatus but over the middle turbinate. Just slowly Now, one and a half cc's of 2% lidocaine has been placed, and she'll lie there for another uh, minute just to allow that to uh, drain and pool. And usually, within about five minutes, the, um, not only is the throat numb and the nose, but the headache is gone. Uh, she has had an unremitting headache for about five years and uh, had her first sphenopalatine block only two days ago and her headache was gone for more than a day and a half until she bent over and triggered the headache again because of some neck movement and this gives us great confidence that the neck is an area of triggering uh, to which we need to address, uh, address our attention.